Hello traders, welcome back to my channel and to another educational video for you. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, check out the description of this video because I have lots of links and playlists to all the free content that I share here on the YouTube channel with tons of uh, trading analysis and educational technical analysis concepts as well. So today we're going to talk about a concept that's called the evolving R. Now evolving R, this is a concept I first heard from trader Dante. He's a British trader that's really good one of the first people that i uh learned price action concepts trading from and one of the people that i um you know learned from in the beginning of my career and this is a concept that he talks about in relation to the risk reward and how we actively manage it when we make our trades now risk reward is a tool it's any platform you have has a tool for it in trading view you can find it here long position short position basically what that tells you is how uh, the relationship between your entry point your stop and your take profit this is in case of a long position so as you can see this is a three rnr trade meaning that we are standing to gain three times as much as what we are risking if we enter the trade here and we're risking ten dollars if we if our stop is hit that means we will be making thirty dollars if our take profit is hit okay so the concept of evolving r is that um you know R and R is not static. As soon as your trade is executed and price is moving, it is live and it is moving as your price moves towards your stop loss or towards your take profit. And you need to keep keeping an eye on it and figuring out how you should manage your trade with it. Because, for example, let's clean this up. Let's say we're on this second scenario let's say we entered our trade right here and now the um trade has started to go in our favor and now price is right here well now the dynamics of the risk reward have changed because now our take profit is here but now our stop loss is here so we got this little bit to go left and we're potentially risking this whole amount to come back against us. As you can see, this is a 0.25 RNR trade, meaning now for this last $25, let's say that we want to win, we're risking giving back and losing $75 that we've already made plus our uh, stop loss here okay so this is where you need to then reassess and again this concept doesn't mean that oh as soon as your trade is in profit just close it no it doesn't mean that you you know you can follow your trade plan and you can trust your stop and your take profit levels it doesn't mean you need to just you know close it as soon as you have a little bit of profit but it means you just need to be proactive in figuring out if you're right here if your entry was here and we're already here then you should ask yourself if i was going to come into this trade now would i take this trade with an entry here a take profit here and a stop here if your answer is no then your risk reward is less favorable in this trade and then you're probably better off either closing the trade here if you see that is getting a uh, stalling or you're going to look to move your stop loss into the next 
logical area of structure of protection below price where if it comes against you you're gonna just uh, you know you're still gonna be in profit but you're not maybe gonna capture your whole pro your hold uh, take profit but you're still gonna capture some of it okay so for that let's go and just look at a couple of chart examples and see this for example here um, this is in gold four hour chart but again this can apply to any time frame in any market so it doesn't really matter which one we are looking at but as you can see market was coming in a downtrend we started bottoming here and then we have this swing high and we have that impulsive move through here so let's say you see this happening and you decide to open along here and you put your stop just below the thrust candle that broke market structure and you're targeting this swing high right here okay so if we click on this you can see it's a 3.86 risk reward which is a really great ratio that means for every let's say ten dollars you're risking you're set to make 38 dollars and 60 cents okay but now let's say that we come and look your trade is coming up here and then we get to this point and you can see the trade is starting to get some trouble because if we look to the left well you can see that we have this whole cluster right here of price this whole supply area that you're now hitting so this could potentially give you some problems or it could even cost price to just come back against you so while the trade looked very attractive here now if we move this over here let's say now we're up around this point here on this candle well now your risk reward is 0.42 okay so now this is a lot less attractive would you want to open up a trade right here for this take profit with the risk all the way down here probably not so this is when you got to decide okay my evolving r doesn't seem very favorable now i'm well in profit but i'm in a supply area that is going to give me a little bit of trouble and what can we do now so you have several alternatives you can either just close the tray out here and you can see you caught a pretty nice profit from here all the way to here or you can scale out and close part of your trade and leave another part running to complete your take profit or you can adjust your stop loss so in this case you want to look for structure where can you logically place this stop well in this case you can move it from here up to this swing low right here which you can see price pull back and then we broke out again and we held on this retest so you can now take your stop loss put it up here and now you can see you know your risk reward is now 0.91 is not a lot better but at least now you have a stop in profit so even if this would come back against you you still captured some of this profit from this move or like i said you can just close the whole thing here wait and see if you get some kind of pullback for another opportunity or you can just wait and see okay we had this breakout here and then just keep trailing your stop up until your take profit point okay so that's pretty much the concept is how you're actively managing your trade if you're doing swing trading 
then probably you know you're gonna have positions open for several days while you're sleeping and everything so you know if you're swing trading you're probably gonna have to let your position ride unattended for certain periods of time you can then check in the next day and maybe adjust like we said here you know if your stop was here and then overnight you're already broken out here then you can move it over here etc and keep trailing it but if you're actively day trading for example like i do in futures where it's a highly leveraged instrument and i do not carry any positions open for the next day then i want to actively be tracking the rnr on my trades because i do not want to give back all my gains you know it would be very frustrating for me in this case if we go back here and let's go back to the original trade idea you know how frustrating would it be if we go and in, in got into here it came up here and we just held it and it came all the way back you know we just gave back all this profit here and now potentially we're even gonna have a loss if it comes all the way back over here so that's why we want to keep tracking the evolving r and r on trades for example here on nq you can also use this concept to get out of trades early you know if you see that your trade idea is invalidated you don't need to wait for price to go and hit your stop loss you can kill the trade earlier and reduce your losses for example here we have an r and r of 334 so very nice risk reward so in this case let's say you see that market we have the swing low we broke below it and we have this supply cluster and let's say you got in a very nice precise entry on this retest here price cash coming down and you're targeting right here you want to target this lows and this gap fill into this level here price comes down and then it starts coming back up and you say okay maybe it's going to test supply again and then collapse again i'm going to keep my stop loss beyond this swing high here but you know if you see that this comes up rejects and comes back up immediately again and we're consolidating here you know you're better off just killing the trade here because now your trade idea of coming up into this supply area in order to come down here i mean if price is coming and clustering here like this most likely is just going to keep churning up and just take you out so when you see this the evolving are again on the trade here obviously you've given up all your gains and you're now in the red so why just keep holding it all the way to get stopped when clearly your trade idea has been invalidated this downtrend was already um you know was reversed this whole down move and now there's strong bullish momentum so just get out of the trade early and then finally uh an example on bitcoin here this r and uh, evolving r concept works a lot as well you should take into consideration after impulsive large moves so here in gray i have marked this whole cluster of supply on bitcoin this was before we broke down back in july you can see we have now filled this whole area in but let's say this hasn't happened and you can see price came up here we had this swing high here we had this little down move and let's say you got in right here we break market structure up so let's say you got in right at that breakout area there you're targeting the cluster here and your stop loss 
was here. So now, if you look at this, and you have this impulsive move out, you got in here, and now price is right here. I mean, after such an impulsive move, this is a daily candle. You know, we don't want to assume that this is just going to keep going up on a straight line. And you know there's going to be a ton of late people that is going to be longing and longing, trying to chase this move. So there's a high possibility. It, uh, we can see that it didn't happen here. But there's a possibility that we're going to come back into this broken resistance level. And then this will be, again, a great entry on a pullback. But if we're already in the move, you know, is it worth it just to capture this little move that is left here to the original target? Is it worth it to hold this straight open and risk it coming all the way back here below your entry point or do we just secure and close here because our evolving r and r now is not very favorable in this case so those are the things that this concept is useful for. again just more of a dynamic way to look at your risk management when you're in a trade and just see if your uh, position needs adjusting if either if you should close it, if you should reduce it, if you should tighten your stops, if you have a clear area where you move your stop in order to protect it, etc. Okay, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope it has been useful and you can now uh, use this concept in order to help you have a better management of your trades. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next video.